morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning for me. So good morning to you. Let's do a post review. How'd y'all like that? Pretty corny, but I like to do corny. I like cheesy. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a post review of this Craftably Diamond Painting that I finished. Um, I did do this for a community event called DP Festival of Witches. And I'll put the hashtag down below. And uh, uh, we have in Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights that's hosting it. This ran from September 1st through October 31st, so you still have time. Unfortunately, this uh, painting is sold out right now at Craftably, but um, there's several other paintings out there to, uh, that fit the theme. There's also Drills and Chills. That's also another community event that's also going on. So if you want to participate in either one of those, uh, please do. So uh, for this post review, let's just cover um, all the details of the painting. Uh, let's see. So again, it's from Craftably. It's a 12 by 12, so she's a, she's perfect size, just a little snack size. It took me about a week to complete her. It is a round, and it does have three ABs and one rhinestone, so lots of nice bling in there. It had 41 colors, and the name of the painting is Faces of Fairy 111, and it's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and it is licensed artwork from her, okay? Um, I also um, had my logbook sticker, Kind of with me at all times i normally don't stick them on the containers because i normally work on one or two at a time so i i don't really need to so i'll go ahead and put the uh, start and finish date and put it in my logbook. it's a sticker that you can use so i mean look at the two together you know the rendering and the 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 image the artwork it's it's great it's beautiful especially for the size you know a lot of times with smaller ones you have to be careful because their faces and a lot of the details don't really show with the real small ones but this one is great they did a wonderful job i like how they have some smaller ones because sometimes we all we don't want to do the big ones okay so first thing i do is i um get my little roller okay and i just roll her oh heard a few snaps in there oh yeah did y'all hear that i had some that were not placed all the way down so this was my second witch to complete for DP Festival of Witches. And I've moved on to, um, I'm now doing a breast cancer awareness event. So I don't think, I don't have any more witches in my stash. So I did two witches and it was a blast. It's a great event. Lindsay's doing a great job over there. All right, so once that's done, and then I grab my toothbrush. And again, this is not my toothbrush. This is my diamond paint toothbrush. Um, and what I do is this just kind of, I lightly brush it and it just gets any residue, wax residue, kind of spreads it along all the other, you know, drills and sparkles them up a little bit, which is good. Um, and then also, you know, dog hair, people hair, any, any little things that might've gotten stuck on there, just kind of gets them all off of there. So you're just cleaning it up. Y'all, I love this. It's so satisfying to brush it, to brush it. Oh, and these blue rhinestones. I don't know if y'all can see, but she's got all these, like her hair right here coming down is all the blue rhinestones right here in her hat. I mean, look at that sparkle. I don't know if y'all can see it in the light, but it's just gorgeous. There's uh, blue rhinestones down here in the, the bird. Yeah, really, really pretty. Look at her green eyes. Um, I did not enhance this um, any extra. I mean, I didn't do anything extra that, other than what it called for. So this is exactly how it came and it's just gorgeous. I love this painting. All right, so we've done those two things. So we're done with that. Let's talk about um, trash, trash drills. This is one of the little cases that if you order a crafty blue painting, you get your cover minder in one of these cute little boxes. So um, I dump my trash in one of these just to show you guys. Look at that. That's all I had for trash. Just a few that, you know, had some extra things around the edges. One that was super, super tiny. Um, one that just had some extra like tags around them, but yeah, I mean, that was it. I look, I had two. Yeah. There's another little small one. So what are we talking about? Six. I mean, yeah. So very, 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 very minimal trash. So the good job on that craftably. Um, let's talk about the drills. So I did use my Harbor Freights. Let me just move this over and we'll show you the drills. Actually, I'll just put them on top of her a little bit. Okay, so 
The drills were the one thing that was a little concerning, okay? So first off, let me just uh, point out that Craftably does include these peel and stick labels, which are you know individually cut. So you just put them right on your storage containers. So it makes it so nice kitting up and they're big. So I love when I'm looking for a symbol or a number, I can just find it real easily. So I love the size of these labels. So I'm really glad that they make them as big as they do. And even these Harbor Freights, they're not very big containers, but I just kind of, they wrap around a tiny bit but they're perfect. I just, as I'm kidding up, I just, you know, lift this up and kind of get it underneath that little, you know, tab right there. And it just sticks right on there nicely. So let's talk about the drills. I did not run out of drills. Okay. I did not, but I got nervous. I did get a little nervous feeling like I was going to on a few of them. It was cutting it close. So, um, and I have talked to Craftably about this. They're aware that the drills, you know, there could be some, they need more extras. So uh, from what I've heard is they're going to be including in the future kits, um, 20 to 25% more drills. So I hope that's correct. That's what I was told. And I think that would be good because if you were to spill or, you know, I mean, spilling is one thing that's not really their responsibility to replace spilled drills, but you know, if there's some trash or this, I just, I got really, really close. Let me find one to give you an example. Uh, I mean, everything was getting just really, really low, really low. Okay. So this one, for instance, that's all that was left. So you can see where you start to get a little nervous, you know, again, I've got there, you know, there's extras, but I, I guess I'm used to having more and I would, I would get nervous as I would go along and I was just feeling like I might run out. Here's another color. See what I mean? Just a little sparse little sparse for me. So I think it would be really beneficial if they included just a few more drills because I did get a little nervous. So, um, that was, that would be my only feedback to them, um, you know, for this kit, but, um, gosh, y'all, the stickiness was great. I didn't have any issues. The drills were wonderful. Uh, the colors, I have no complaints when it comes to anything else. Um, let's see, let me show you all the rhinestone. It was really, really pretty. And of course I have some extras. This is that blue rhinestone that they had. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna save these. Hopefully I'll be able to use these on another painting. So there's some of those left over. And like I said, there's three ABs. So there were some, you know, there's some ABs left. There's a few. Like I said, there's just about the same amount in all of them. There's just a little bit. So that was a really pretty AB. It was like a yellow, kind of white, yellowish white. And then the other AB, um, they do like to include white ABs in their kits. I mean, there's so much white in the paintings. So again, you can see I have a little bit of white left over. So I will save these. Um, I do not save my, the only drills I save uh, for my long-term storage is my diamond, my diamond art club uh, drills. I don't save any others. Let me see. There was another AB. Where'd you go? That's one, two. Where's our third one? Am I missing it? Yo, where'd it go? I feel like I'm missing it. I think there was three ABs. There was one, two, three. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Is it this symbol? Yes. I'm sorry. And then there was this green. And y'all can tell. See how you, I got really, really low? Yeah. So I will save these. I do save the ABs, but the rest of them, um, the rest of these leftover drills, I will put in a jar that I have. I'm on my second jar and it looks really pretty. You just layer it and I put pins in there and yeah, so it's really fun. But I will keep all of these. I will put these in my long-term storage with my ABs. Okay, what else? Um, if y'all have any questions or uh, comments, concerns, please put them down in the description. I'll be happy to answer them for you. And uh, if y'all enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. I always do post reviews after I, uh, you know, finish a painting. So um, I hope that they restock this. But like I said, unfortunately, and I hate to show y'all things that you can't order, but um, maybe it'll come back. So, uh, but yeah, Craftably does. And they have Craftably, as you know, has several other paintings that are available. If you've never done a Craftably, um, you know, I'm, I'm friends with them. They do, they are nearby. We're local and uh, I do go over there and help out. Um, I'm not an affiliate with them. So um, I don't have an affiliate code or anything. I just uh, believe in their company and I support them. So I wanted to make sure I did one of their paintings that I had for this event. Uh, but yeah, 
please subscribe down below. There's a subscribe button and there's a notification bell right next to that. Click on those two things and you'll be set with me. Okay. All right. Y'all take care. Uh, I love you and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye guys.